Hey folks, Black Cross here, and uh, before I get on to the main discussion at hand, my allergies are worse today, so <laughs> um, I'm going to do my best to get the audio to where you can hear me better, but that does not mean that it's going to be the best that it can be, so I'm kind of... I'm kind of out of it today, unfortunately, but that isn't going to stop me from doing today's discussion. Today's discussion, recently we have an announcement for the Dark Souls 3 DLC content, being that of the Ash of Arendelle. Basically, this DLC is the first DLC of the planned two patches that they are working on. And with this one, they showed off the trailer and it looks absolutely amazing um first of all i'm gonna take a wild guess and say in order to access it you need to go to the cleansing chapel where it leads on to the cathedral of the deep um and there's somebody there and when you talk to him you're transported into this new location altogether and the location itself a lot of people who have theorized as to what the dlc is going to be the DLC itself uh, is going to be the scholar portion where basically we're hoping to get details as to the scholar itself who told Prince Lothric to betray the kindling of the flame itself so chances are we're gonna finally find out what happened in that part <coughs> yeah excuse me But the area itself is freaking amazing. It's very like deja vu to that of the painted world, as well as like very close relationship from like Bloodborne of the DLC and everything like that. It is very dark and gritty, but the outside world itself is so amazing to look at. But the enemies themselves is what's terrifying me. Like you see a pack of wolves that you're going to be fighting, but then there's this one big guy with a giant axe. And if he slams it on the ground, it does like this earth-shattering uh, destruction attack. So I'm like, that's not looking good. The so chances are, this one is going to be much like the old Hunter's DLC, where if you're in New Game Plus or so on, the difficulty is going to jump dramatically. So <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that one. But um, another thing, too, that they showed off, they didn't show off any like new weapons or anything like that but I imagine they're gonna be a couple of new ones but they showed off a couple of spells like they've got the miracle spell where it looks like you're throwing like a white disc and it comes back to you they showed off a new pyromancy spell which basically you're blowing flame out of your mouth and everything like throw like a flamethrower type effect and then they've got another spell itself but I'm guessing that's basically white breath but upgraded sort of like a white dragon breath or something I don't remember I don't know but I imagine that's what it's going to be. The DLC is very interesting to look at, very much so. And I'm going to leave it in the uh, uh, description for you, to, so that way you can check out the uh, DLC trailer yourself. And I do apologize if I sound like this, but uh, I can't control what my allergies do, so what are you going to do? But yeah. Be sure to check out the trailer in the uh, description below, and then if you want to, feel free to give your opinions of what you thought about the trailer itself. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Blackcross signing off. Take care, guys.